nine. Let's look at question 10 here. Question 10 states that, how do you find the exact value of three pi over four? So give me the exact value of sine three pi over four. Pi over four. So uh, for us to do this, basically, uh, we're going to work in radians. Uh, this solution here works in degrees here. So it actually changed its degrees, but that's totally fine. It doesn't really, really matter where we kind of look at this function here. But if we drew, do draw a unit circle, um, we draw a little unit circle here, we would realize that 3 pi over 4 would be, um, would be uh, basically between... Um, 3 pi over 3 is simply just 3 fourths pi, right? So remember this here is pi over 2. This is pi, 3 pi over 2. This could be 0 or 2 pi, right? So this here would actually belong in quadrant 2, right? This is quadrant 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this here would actually give me some type of angle here, right? So I have this here is sine 3 pi over 4. This here is 3 pi over 4. And we're, we're, we're looking at what is the exact value of 3 pi over 4, right? So um, what we can do is with this one here is we can actually break it down in terms of the identities, right? So we know that sine here, we know our, from our identity sine here is pi over two plus, um, <clears throat> plus some sort of angle of theta would give me negative sine negative sine theta, right? Because again, um, if you remember our cast rule, this is uh, cosine region here, A, this is S, and this is T here, right? Or sorry, this is not a negative number. This is a uh, positive here. And in quadrant two, sine here is positive, right? Sine here is positive here. Obviously, in quadrant one and two, sine are positive. A is all, so all trigonometric ratio is positive. In quadrant two, only sine is positive. In quadrant three, only tangent is positive. And uh, quadrant four, only cosine is positive. If we're, um, we're right here, we're, uh, our angle here is in quadrant two. So therefore, this it will be a positive value. So this is positive sine x. So if we break this down, we have sine here is pi over 2 plus some sort of angle, right? So we can basically subtract 3 pi over 4 by pi over 2 to figure out what theta is. So we can take 3 pi over 4. Let me do some side work here. Uh, this is in blue. So 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 2 would equal, I can change my denominators here uh, to basically 4, and this would give me 2 pi. This would give me pi over 4, right? So sine pi over 4 would be my theta here, would equal sine simply just pi over 4, right? And what's sine pi over 4? Well, we know that through our uh, special triangles, right? So we know that um, we know that our special triangles uh, would give us our uh, basically our, our trigonometric, trigonometric ratios and our exact values for uh, the triangle here. So let me just draw out the special triangles for you. So again, they're both right angle triangles, but pi over four specifically, I'll draw that out specifically, is the one one triangle, right? So if I have a right triangle here, right triangle here, and if this is pi over four, this would be one, one, and root two here, right? So I'm taking the sine of pi over four, this would be the opposite over hypotenuse. Obviously, opposite is one, hypotenuse is root two, therefore the uh, sine so therefore, this is root 2 over 2 here. Sine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Therefore, this, uh, this function here is also, or this, this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, relation here also equals root 2 over 2. So this is equal to sine 45, which is 1 over root 2. So this solution is correct, right? So basically, I'm using the cast rule. I'm figuring out what angle does this lie on. And then what I can do is I can plug in my uh, trigonometric identities to figure out where it uh, lies, uh, what sign it lies on, and how I can break this angle down into an angle that we know through special triangles. So solution here is correct good analysis here. Solution here is correct.